In this video, I spent over 100 days completing over 100 quests in All the Mods 9, and that's just the beginning, as my goal is to complete every single quest in the mod pack. This included exploring 5 other dimensions, crafting loads of modded items and machines, killing every vanilla boss including the Warden, and taking down the other dungeon, a structure with an insane amount of deadly mobs. So grab some snacks and let's get right into it. I wonder if there's anything specific I wanna start with. Cause I know like, I guess the beginning seems like a good start. Okay, well let's do this. I believe that is a cataclysm dungeon. So we're not gonna deal with that right now. So yeah, this thing is obviously, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm dying to a cactus. <laughs> Welcome to Botania, thank you. Let's make a crafting table on a stick. Yes, that sounds fun. I start off by finding a spot to set up a very basic outline for a base, which I may or may not ever finish. But the purpose of it is just to store a few items as inventory space in mod of Minecraft is always a huge issue. Then I complete a few basic quests and claim the rewards. Okay, I suppose maybe starting to mine might be helpful. <laughs> awesome. I'll even do one more. Dude, I love Ultimine. Why, hello, giant cave among us. Oh, it's a skeleton. Why is iron more rare than gold? Please help. <laughs> Wait, so does it let me stack more than 64? Oh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. That's actually really cool. I've never used one of these before. Ooh, copper ore hammer. Oh, I already freaking smelted my iron. I forgot that even existed, man. <laughs> oh, I got a sturdy repair kit. Go. Oh, I got some more iron. Nice. I can hammer that. Middle age. Oh my gosh. Are you serious, bro? They actually gave me one of those? That's insane. The flawless ones, they don't like deteriorate at all. Dude, is there not like an iron furnace thing anywhere for quests? Oh, wait, there, there is literally a iron furnace thing. Okay, and then this one's asking for augments. Okay. After mining for a little bit and making some more upgrades for my base, I kill a couple of low tier apothic bosses and I take a look at one of the big structures nearby. Okay, what are you? Oh, you look like a little dungeon. I gotta die. Okay. There's some chests. Just checking to see if there's anything trapped. But it's modded Minecraft. Literally anything can happen. Ooh, holy crap, dude. Welcome to modded Minecraft, people. <laughs> Angler's hats. I don't, I didn't read that that did, but I'm sure it's helpful. There's so much, I can't. Okay. All right, I think that's all that I want from there, other than these gold blocks. Which of course I didn't check to see if those were trapped. I went through this entire room making sure there's no traps and then I just broke some gold blocks. So that's fun. All right, let's get back. Holy crap. All right, we have so much stuff. We probably completed about five trillion quests. Okay, I need more storage. Who could have guessed? Hopper, barely know her. At this point, I set up a basic machine to turn rotten flesh into leather so that I can make backpacks later on, and then I go out to try and find some sheep so I can make beds as well as string, another crucial crafting material for backpacks. Like, what the heck is this, bro? Like, I literally am just like, bro, where's my freaking cows and sheep? Is there like ways to spawn it in? Can I make like a sheep spawn egg? Sheep essence. Altar of birthing. I need, I need like buttons. So I, I need sheep to make sheep, guys. See if we can find a waystone. Should be pretty easy in a flat biome like this. I think they're pretty rare. Oh, well, there it is. 
Let's just go over to some structures, why don't we? That sounds a bit fun. But of course, I will inevitably get distracted by everything that is modded Minecraft, whether that be structures or just random features like this one. Ride it down, yeah. That's such a good feature in modded Minecraft. That should totally be a feature in vanilla. It wouldn't even be that hard to implement. Just make it so that if you're looking down, you just uh, climb down the ladder faster. That would actually be so nice for vanilla. And it, I don't know. There's just so many things in modded that would fit right into the game. Like obviously most of the stuff would not fit that well into the game right away, but stuff like Stuff like that, where you're literally just, hey, yeah, this is another apotheosis tower, so that's cool. That is a trapped chest. Um, so I'm gonna be looking around, yeah, finding that TNT. Very important to find, otherwise. Blown up. We would not like to get blown up at this moment. I think other than that, I think we're good, okay. I was ready to jump down if I needed to. Give me some sheep. You guys are not sheep. That snake. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it obviously will damage me. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Hey, bro, I got phantoms because I'm not allowed to sleep, bro. You guys are toxic. Freaking toaster. Come here, you heckin' toaster. You're dead. Bro! How many? <laughs> yeah, I actually should pick that up because I don't know when the next time I'm gonna get that is. I'll toss the slips. Yeah, that's actually used for stuff. <laughs> Give me two string. Ooh, let's go, baby. But for this, I need logs and planks and a piece of red wool boom we got market kablamo and then as soon as we place it he's here black seeds kablamo baby let's go okay so we can claim some bounties we got that we got a feather as a quest reward bones spider eyes they're back. No. Okay, well, we got a bunch of bones. Start bone mailing stuff. Dude, do I just need to make my roof, bro? What if I just hide under this tree? Will they be able to get me? Nope. Oh, I have to double till it. I wonder if that's in the base game. Jukes. Jukes. I'm too fast for ya. Ooh, get wrecked, noobs. Oh my gosh, just turns directly into string. Die. Sick. Okay, that's awesome. We got that done. Gives me a uncommon reward. Lock of emerald, okay. Like on on this quest line is quest to defeat all of the or the cataclysm bosses which is good so healthy get some more flax that enough to create a sleeping bag we're saved we're saved holy crap Yes! We can sleep! We can sleep, guys. This is like the opposite of a speed run. <laughs> I'm, be I'm be honest. Half the reason why I'm picking up all this prosperity is because I'm gonna think it's diamonds later. So we're just gonna stand right here. I'm gonna vein mine all this obsidian. We're gonna be happy about it. Vein mining obsidian is the best feature. <laughs> Ugh. That's a loud sound, though. I just got 64 obsidian. Okay. That's all the obsidian I will ever need for now. Mushrooms are healthy. Yeah, if you ignore that paranoia. 
Escape tunnel! Ultimine is so nice. Nice. It did not crash my game. We are in a spawn where there is hoglins nearby. Okay. That should be enough for now. There's about 50,000 gas in the outskirts of this area, so we'll, let's just uh, not explore. Storage controller. Oh, it works. Collect some more quests. The beginning to the nether. Gem dust. Oh my gosh, that completes more quests. More gem dust at that. Get some affixed items. We did controller, so we get some upgrades. An iron furnace. Ooh, let's go, baby. We get another reward off of that. Oh my gosh. Be done with all the quests in no time. Not. Don't listen. Okay. Boom. Now completed the quests. Common reward. Fox spawn egg. I guess that is one way I could get a sheep spawn egg. Ooh, early game flight. A wooden jetpack. Ooh. Spicy. Okay, boom. That should make the jetpack. Yay, jetpack! Woo! <laughs> that didn't take ages for a wooden jetpack. What are you talking about? Oh, I need two fern eye for this. Fern eye, the science guy. Oh my gosh, dude, wait. I didn't even know I could complete all these quests. Holy crap. More buckets. Yo. I got blaze rods. Why am I allowed to get those? Oh my gosh, I have another waystone and a sturdy bee cage. Oh, you guys are so done. Holy crap. It's... It's over. It's over. Honey bottles? Oh, it's so over, dude. Holy crap. I've already won. I literally just won the mod pack. Holy crap. Look at this creeper, sweetie. Oh, it's aggressive. It's a Badlands creeper. He's got, he's got a little cactus on his head. That's so cute. Okay, so now all I have to do is I go up to villagers, shift right click them, and I put them in my inventory. That's the best part about modded. You don't have to like, yep, there we go. There's a fisherman. This guy's unemployed, so I'll probably put him in a box for uh, making an iron golem farm. Make some toast, make some toast, make some toast, make some toast, make some toast. Dude, wait, the clay, does clay only spawn in rivers? Are you freaking kidding me? This game is scamming me. There's clay. No, it's salt. That makes me salty. Gosh, there was that one lush cave I could have just went to. Okay, gotten clay there. Yo, is that clay down there? Is that more salt? Am I gonna be salty or am I gonna be happy? The, the age-old question, yo. Salt. Gonna be salty. I'm gonna put a waystone down and I'm gonna go back to base and I'm gonna go find that lush cave and I'm gonna grab the clay from the lush cave because that is where we're at in life right now. <laughs> My wife goes, watch it all be salt in the Lush Cave. Bro, I've never seen a salty Lush Cave in my life. I am a salty Lush Cave right now. Facts. Pick up all this Imperium right now. Clay! Is that clay? No freaking way, dude. Oh, we're so back. We are... We are so back. Oh my gosh. Game over. We got clay. It's so back. The Prosperity Gemstone, and then that takes two. Make Inferium Gemstone, but doesn't it need something else? Okay, so we do need the Inferium Gemstone, and then with that, we need four Inferium and four Prosperity, and that creates that. So we turn this up. Boom. Okay. 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 
And now, okay, oh. Okay, I was missing a very important piece to this. Ah, uh, I forget. I need wool. <laughs> Okay, because, like, now I got this tier 3 essence and all that. Yeah, so to make all the stuff to finish mystical agriculture, I'm going to need gold and... Okay, well, luckily, we got all this stuff going. We can turn this into wool, and then we can start making those pedestals. Sweet, that is all we need from that. I cannot function with my inventory being like this. Let's just go ahead and just right in there. Hydrate or die drying, as me and my wife always say. Okay. Um, let's go to the nether. What block should I bring? Got lots of mud. Uh, I'll just go like find a stack of cobblestone real quick. Stack of cobblestone should do. Actually, I wonder if I can charge this jet jetpack. I connected it to the wrong thing. That is the metallurgic infuser. I just put a bunch of charcoal in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Oh, that was so dumb. I think I needed to do like a universal cable or something. Boom. Aha. Yay, my jetpack. Okay, how do I turn it on? I forgot to turn my jet back on. <laughs> it's very slow, but it does in fact work. Oh nice, there's a wandering trader in here. Oh, there's all the gas that I left in here. Yo! Just standing there. You're dead. After making some basic machines from the mechanism mod, I go to the nether simply to grab some buckets of lava so I can power said machines through the heat generator until I can get a better source of power. I should be responsible. Find the top of this tree. Okay. It's 11 bookshelves. Where did we put our enchanting table? Uh. Thank what the heck? Where did I put it? I put it somewhere. I didn't just throw it away. <laughs> Dude, there's only so many places it could be. Did I actually accidentally drop it? Okay, we're doing this method. I will find it. One way or another. Oh, it's in one of the stupid bundles. I actually know that. Of course it was. Of course it was. Oh my gosh, the emerald dude freaking scared the crap out of me. Oh, holy crap. I thought it didn't work. <laughs> but then it did it, and I was terrified. I can take these flowers back now. I don't have any food on me right now, though. So I'll just go back. That means I've completed some quests, though. Twilight Forest. I haven't done it. Oh no, no, there is a whole quest line. There is definitely a whole quest line. The real final boss, okay. Ice bow. Yeah, okay, so I do actually have to do all the bosses in the Twilight Forest also, okay. Oh boy, I got to have here too. Go to every single planet, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Galatio, my favorite planet in real life. Let's complete these quests, because it looks like this is pretty helpful. Renewable energy, yeah, I, that's what I want to get into next. I think a solar panel would be very nice. Okay, good. All right, it was just enough. Okay, so now I have all the infused alloys I need. We need glass panes, so let's just get six glass. That will allow us to make 16 glass panes. And I made glass trapdoors. <laughs> because I forgot to swap the recipe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't even know these were a thing. That's awesome. There is this button right here that allows you to swap the crafting recipe. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. I love that. Okay, so let's go here. We can make three of these. Boom, boom, boom. And then from here, we need this energy tablet. 
kaboom make one of those and then we do actually need some more osmium then from there we actually should just be able to make our solar generator sweet renewable energy all right so let's just go ahead and place that right there for now and boom okay so let's go ahead and allow it to suck up the power it actually makes a sound which is nice I, I, some people don't like that mechanism makes noises, but I actually do, so I, I think it's kind of neat. Okay, so we got this. That is a wonderful upgrade. Oh, nice. We get some more energy pipes. That's good. And this is renewable energy. Okay, so we can make one more of those. Boom. And then we can make one more of these. And then we can make one more of these. Sweet, that's another solar generator. And that was a lot easier than the first one. Okay, hey, we did this. Sweet, we got some basic control circuits. That's pretty helpful. And this way, I think we actually got some advanced, we got an advanced control circuit. That's pretty nice. Those are kind of annoying to get later. It's redstone, enriched redstone. Ooh, nice. Yay, lava, woo! -hoo. Kaboom! Iron farm from Easy Villagers. Make this perfect. Awesome sauce. Okay, beautiful. Let's just start smelting some copper. We got some steel, so then that's gonna give us that stuff. Oh my gosh, we got an advanced oak beehive. That allows us to skip so much. That is so good. Holy crap, I love that. Okay, thank you, game. That's so helpful. Perfect. It's It's got pretty good power output. This is generating... Yeah, these are only generating 25, where the wind generator is generating 192 per tick. That is way more than the solar panels. Let's go to the nether. Go get some glowstone. We'll make ourselves an aether portal. I don't have my jetpack on. <laughs> I jumped and I didn't have my jetpack on. Okay. Let's uh, vein mine this glowstone. Okay, got some glowstone. I think I need 10 glowstone total, or I, I might just make a full portal because it looks prettier. No, it doesn't have the old sound. Wham, sad. Come on, mod makers. You guys are better than that. Okay, so there should be sweats. Okay, there's a sweat over there. I sound like I'm playing freaking Fortnite right now. <laughs> All right, dropped a sweat ball and an aether cloud. Here. Oh, don't drop my trident. Oh my gosh, guys, I found sheep for the first time. They're nether, or they're aether sheep. Tigs. <laughs> they die in like three hits. Holy crap. Yo, any more sweats in the chat? The golden sweat. He dropped a piece of glowstone. Nice, I have two sweat balls. <laughs> well, I mean, that should be enough for now, so I don't I don't need to be in here anymore. I wonder how many quests there are in the Aether mod. Are there that many? Or are there any at all? That's that's the real question. Exploration. Nope, no Aether quests. But it can be useful. Okay, so now with this, I can make processor binding with string and the sweat ball. Okay, put in this mod. I've never done anything with this mod before. Okay, so with the controller. Oh, it requires power too. That is something that I forgot to think about. Oh my gosh, so many quests just got completed. Oh, it unlocked more stuff. Give me more stuff. Woohoo! Yay! More stuff. I love more stuff. Let's go, baby. You go down to bedrock. Boom, baby. Okay, let's look for some osmium. That's lead. That's uranium. 
That's a zombie. There it is. That's a enormous vein. That is insane. Okay, we're set for life. GG. Okay, disk drive. I thought for sure there was a way to access inventories with refined storage, not just with applied energistics. I have to look this up real quick. Oh, hey, there it is. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Okay, so external storage. I think this is what I need. Okay, kaboom. Okay, let's break this. Is that all it takes? Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, that is so much simpler than I was making it. Oh my gosh, dude. That... It's literally on the quest. I just didn't... My brain just didn't work. That's hilarious. Okay, so now I can literally just do this. Oh my gosh. All right, cool. All right, we got storage. All we need is just a trillion chests. I think it's just automatic. Yeah, okay, it just automatically puts it in there. Um, by default. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I can literally access my entire inventory. That is awesome. Okay. So yeah, now that all that's left is just upgrading these chests. I could just keep upgrading them and this makes everything so much easier. Can I just mine mine this? <laughs> oh wait, it has all the stuff in it still. Shoot. That was way less satisfying than I was hoping it would be. Wow. Well, I'm sad. It didn't just drop all the items. Okay. Time to go dump the stuff. Dump the stuff into the refined storage. Oh, ho, ho. Can I just do like at food? Is that a thing I can do? Oh, that is something I can do. Oh. I didn't do it. Nice. Make sure you guys remember to stay hydrated. Look at all that Sardis Quartz. Mmm, tasty. I'm just gonna upgrade my jetpack. How much better is this, though? Yeah, this is way better than the wood jetpack. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this giant entrance to the cave over here. Nice, that's cool. I love the mod that adds all these cool caves. It's very nice. Hey, Mimics. It's a Mimic. Means he's gonna drop a guaranteed artifact. An umbrella, so is your fall when held. Cool. Fly back up. Okay, the one downside of this jetpack cannot fly up very fast. The, the horizontal speed is very fast, but vertical, not so much. Why is this not getting any power? Oh my gosh. Dude. The windmills weren't connected at all. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe I didn't notice that. The windmills just weren't giving out their power. I was like, these aren't going down. I don't know why they're losing power. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh, I got a redstone seed. Let's freaking go, dude. Okay, we can make another seed. Add it to our system. Perfect. Okay, now we're doubling our redstone output. We're gonna need it. We are going to need it. We can start setting up some hostile neural networks stuff. Hold. Okay. Got that. That's cool. Okay. And then this simulates deaths. We actually almost have all of this, I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, and that is getting power. It takes a lot 
Um, let's go down to the mine. I want to simulate skeletons so I can get bones for, um, for bone meal. There's one. Okay, so I need to kill a bunch of skeletons in order to upgrade the data. Okay. I do have it in my inventory. Okay. Okay, so that's that's neat. Okay, so now I need to find some skeletons and kill them. Seems easy enough. This is a cool looking cave. Holy crap, dude, these caves are so sick. Skeletons! A skeleton of them. Okay, cool, so now I have a basic model. Yo, we traveled so far, holy crap. I ran out of jetpack fuel. Gothic boss. Jin Brand be the mean. <gasps> oh my gosh, it spawned as a spider jockey. Drop. Elegant leather, whatever we call it. Cool, okay, so now it is an advanced model. Now, take this, take this thing, put in here. So now we need a input prediction matrix, like so make it. Okay, that's kind of neat. Okay, let's turn all this rotten flesh into leather. Favorite activity. So I have gotten some skeleton predictions. So, oh, and then the loot fabricator makes I've never used this mod pack or this mod before, so. Okay. Fabricator. Oh, of course I didn't have the right ingot. Okay. Can't use that yet. Doing all of these sounds like it's gonna be an insane. These overworld things are. I can turn one piece of bone meal to 22 bones. I think that's actually gonna be our best thing to do right now. That's just ridiculous. Once I got the simulation chamber completed, I used the generalized overworld predictions to multiply my bone meal and get a nice head start on the productive bees mod. Bees take, regular bees take so long. Oh my gosh, that's a honeycomb. Okay, finally. Beehive. didn't put in my inventory for long enough. I can do an expansion box. Okay, so now we can finally go through all of this stuff. We are going to need to collect every single bee eventually. Okay, this is getting insane. <laughs> We're just getting started, guys. We are just getting started. Okay, powered centrifuge. Huge centrifuge. Okay, so now what we do, go around and start collecting them. I think the biggest ones that are gonna be really important to get early on are the nether ones. Can I upgrade my jetpack now? I probably can. Iron jetpack. Let's go. That's a big upgrade. Okay, let's look for another fortress. Oh, in the meantime, I should be looking for bees. Get two, two sort of quests done in the process. They tend to be up in the sky pretty high, if I remember correctly. Another fort. Okay, cool. At least got that off, off the list. Lag, 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 lag. 
surely won't be dangerous. Okay, so I have an advanced model on the places. Now, too, that's good. I, that's exactly what I was looking for. I was, I was about to say, I wonder if there's a waystone here. There is. Let's freaking go. Nether Fortress. Sick. That, like, I was like, man. Okay, that is so convenient. Thank goodness for that. Sweet. Now with the Blaze prediction, we get Blaze Rods with a Leaf Fabricator. We also get Nether Predictions, which can convert bones to Blaze Rods. We get Blaze Powder. Convert Iron to Gold. We get... Nether wards for mushrooms. That's a scary apothic boss. I might not want to mess with that guy. He's, got, he, he's gonna give me a purple gear though, so it's, it's kind of tempting to be honest. What do you? Oh, you are a brute. I don't. I don't think I want to mess with that. Oh my gosh, he might one shot me. I don't think I want to mess with that. That is so terrifying. He gives freaking blindness. I'm just gonna run past him. <laughs> Good, thank goodness for this jetpack. Holy crap, that is terrifying. We can see bees on the map, I'm pretty sure too. That's a magmatic bee. We will need that eventually. You know, why don't we just go ahead and go towards that magmatic bee? Okay, so he's, oh, he's just right there, okay. Okay, got one. Okay, let's see. Let's just look on the map to see if we can find some more. No little white dots. Okay. Keep on moving for a bit. Crystalline B. That would actually make so much sense, too. If you were here. Uh, where? Yeah. It might be in a hive. Okay, let's look for... for a hive. Yeah, you're right in there. Haha! -ha! Gotcha! Finally. That took forever. Okay, so getting one of those is really good. Getting a second one would be even better. Um, let's look for a Bastion. Oh, hey, a Bastion. Let's go. Okay, so how am I going to do this without dying? There we go, Smithing Template. That's what I was looking for. Okay, I think that is most, if not all, of the chests. I will leave that Waystone there just in case I need to come back. Well, okay, let's go back now. Recharge our jetpack. We have the smithing template. That's another quest done. Let's claim some quests in the meantime. We have this. Another right template. Get an uncommon reward. Get some quartz. Okay, fine. So we want to go into the nether. We're going to go down to Y13. What's up, you little lizard? Okay. Uh, so we're at Y105. So let's do a uh, staircase down. Main tunnel. I knew this wouldn't be easy. 41 and we have reached a lava lake. 13, okay. So let's go like one lower. Let's go to 12. And we'll do a large tunnel. And we'll just keep doing that. Hey, look at that. First try. That wasn't hard at all. Keep going. This is way better than doing this in vanilla. Like, holy crap. Oh, except for these guys. I totally forgot about this. And pick broke. Yep. That's how it goes. But we got two scraps. I mean, that's not the worst thing. So we got two ancient debris. Okay, so... I want to figure out, can I multiply this at all? Or is the only way I can do this just to smelt it? Enrichment chamber. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We can enrichment chamber it. Or I can make three dirty netherite scraps. Oh, I can triple it. Holy crap. Mechanism OP. Basic tools. Oh, nice. I get another one. Is there a netherite site? 
How do I make? Okay. So it's five minutes. Okay, so that will literally give me x-ray vision for netherite. It's literally part of the quest book, so... Not my fault. Not cheating, because it's part of the quest book. I need to do it anyways. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I see all of the netherite. It's right there in front of my eyes. Yo. Look, it's... I get to see where the netherite is. Witch! <laughs> this one's a vein of three. It's tasty. I would have never found this one, too. Another vein of three. Wow, I'm so lucky, guys. Tasty. More netherite. We picked up 23 ancient debris, which is going to turn into 69. Nice. Um, netherite scraps, which will turn into... Seventeen netherite ingots, which will last us a good amount of time. Uh, let's make um the loot fabricator, man. Okay, cool. So now this can fabricate loot off of our predictions, and that that's actually the only thing these are used for. So we can pick whatever we want, and then for the blaze, get one of those. And then a bunch of blaze rods. Sweet. Okay. Nice. That's so much stuff. Okay, let's claim some quests. Shall we? XP. Got some XP. An uncommon reward and pearls. Nice. XP. So the, all the modium thing you have to find an ancient city for. I could have the nature's compass point me towards a deep dark biome, though. And that actually will help me find all the modium. Okay. Cool beans. Uh, can we just dig straight down? Okay, there it is. Seems to be really rare, too, even beyond its restrictions. Along the walls and ceilings. Not finding it. Still know all the modium. I'll find some more diamonds, at least. Not what I'm looking for, but I guess I'll take it. It's insane that it's taking me this long to find a single one. Okay, let's go back home. Get more torches. This is insane. I found 18 diamonds, but, um... Zero Aldemodium. Okay, so it is very rare. I, am, I think I'm doing the right thing, but obviously it's very rare, so I just haven't found it. So, in the mining dimension, this is a lot more common. So that's probably the thing I'm going to want to make most. But the only way I can get all the modium nuggets is by getting all the modium itself. Okay, let's go back into the mines and try and get that all the modium. As soon as we find some, we can go to the mining dimension. That will be a much more common way of finding it. If I keep flying around here, will I find a new deep dark cave that's better? I think I mostly explored that one. Okay, it still says the closest one. Oh no, this is a different one. But it's still here. No. After looking for all the modium with no success, I decide to look for a new deep dark biome, but I don't end up finding any there either. So I then decide to venture into an ancient city instead to see if that yields better results as well as giving us the option to potentially find Suspicious Clay, which would give us the Aldemodium smithing template as well. This portal is actually useful, by the way, fun fact. It takes you to the other side of biome, or dimension, rather. Go back. Explore the possibility of staying home and never going back there again. Uh, I should also craft the brush. Have the brush. Oh my gosh, that is a legendary scroll. Whoa, legendary! Scary. Wait, that's it, that's it, that's it. It does glow. Oh, we found it. We found some. We found it. Oh, it's all the modium. 
Let's go. We finally found it. Oh, let's go. Okay, cool. So we got one. That is awesome, obviously. Um, is that that's more right there too? I think that's two more. Uh, oh, I can't vein miner it. Sweet. Okay, so I, I was looking in the right place, guys. Okay, next step is to find the suspicious clay. Suspicious clay. Sussy bee. There's a sussy bee <laughs> that you can, you can turn clay into suspicious clay with a sussy bee. Oh, that's so funny. Let's just go back, claim our reward. Where are we? Okay, so let's do this first. The Prudentium, nice. All the modium. Gosh, I got four as well. I got some tertium essence. Okay, so let's let's invest in the chemical inje injection machine. That is a quest complete. Get some clumps. Pressure. That. Put that stuff away for now. Not throw it away, but you know what I mean. Please. Next up is next up the chemical injection chamber. Okay. okay. This is that. That's this. Fill that up with salt. And that's where I want to put this. Takes a lot. Goodness gracious, that takes so much. Okay, so then that turns that into clumps. And then from here we crush it. Yeah. Okay, so I need to go and get more salt. Hey guys, guess what? There's clay over here. Why is salt like impossible to find now? Okay, hopefully that's enough. Hopefully he doesn't just stop. Okay. Need more. More salt. More salt. I just remember how I was like constantly saying, oh, salt makes me salty. Salt makes me salty. Now, that is exactly what I'm looking for. And now I can't find any. Isn't it funny how that works? Okay, that should be enough salt, hopefully. Plop. Okay, will this be enough salt? No, it's not, man. Aha! Salt. Four stacks of it. No! What the freaking heck? No, why did I do that? Okay, I'll need those later. Fine. <laughs> okay. Shards. Clumps. Clumps to crush um, enrichment. And then enrichment smell. Let's go. Nice. Glad we got this process going early on. Last one. Get 12 all the modium. Let's go. So. Mining dimension. Uh, so we need like a teleportation pad to make a teleport pad. Sweet. We got that done. We can claim that quest reward. Looks like it gives a rare reward. Got some refined obsidian. Nice. Oh, we also got some other rewards done. This is also. We got hunter's handgun. What's this from? Liquory. We have ammo. Three bullets left. That's fun. Okay. Overito, put that away for now. 
Let's go to the mining dimension. Okay, actually, before we go in to the mining dimension, maybe we should make one of those potions. Can I get um, all the modium site? Yeah. Cool. It only lasts for two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. I need to make sure I have enough food. And I do not have a good source of food right now. Sweet. Okay. Took all that real quick. Empty both hands. Sweet. Okay. We're going to the mine dimension. All right. Okay, cool. So this teleport pad is just right back here and we'll just be able to teleport back. So looks like it's just a big, super flat world. It's pretty neat. Um, I've actually never been here before, so well, let's just dig straight down. No need for a staircase. I've got a jetpack. And there's the nether stuff. Okay. Now I'm curious. Okay, I don't see any. Aha! Okay, so there's some over there. Wait, is this in a cave? Like, is this... Okay, it just says mining dimension. Doesn't this even say it's like a biome? Yeah, because there's... That is all the modium. Okay. Yeah, this is way more common than mining dimension. Yeah, so there's no biomes in here. It just can be found randomly. I just realized I'm not getting any, like, darkness or anything. Like, it's, like, full bright the entire time, it seems. And if I want to, I can multiply this pretty heavily using mechanism. I don't have a ton of uh, salt, though, so that's the main thing. I wonder if there's a good way to get salt, good way to get this. Okay, so there is a salty comb to get from salty B, salty B. Oh, it, that's actually really easy. There are other ways you can get salt, like from essence or something just say you're looking for clay true true yeah so let's go back oh wait empty hands okay it looks like the day night cycle is the same netherrack on the bottom layer of this dimension no end stone is the bottom layer of that dimension so it's kind of interesting so it, it's a place where it allows you to find all different types of um ores uh, I want to make some salty bees. Oh my gosh, wait, the desert is actually a really good spot to set up, set up because um, there's no rain. They won't, like, stop working. Uh, I want to set up a mining gadget because that's actually a quest. Or a building gadget, rather. Building gadget. I can make it. Maybe I should make a charge pad, because I think the mechanism charge pad's a little fast. Okay, just boom. Oh my gosh. That is so much faster. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Okay, I should have made that way earlier. Okay, cool. Let's charge pad up everything real quick. Oh, what the heck? It actually is instant. How much does this hold? 819,000 FE? Yeah, no, of course that's gonna instantly charge everything. Holy crap, that's crazy. That's awesome, holy freaking crap. As far as I remember, I can just go like, surface. Yeah, the gadget is so nice. Okay, take that. That brings us to horizontal wall. No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay, I can I can remake. I can I can, re I can re we will rebuild. We will we will rebuild, dude. I'm already out. Holy crap, dude! That's actually insane. Sweet. Now we got a nice lit up B place. This place is going to look like just a big barrage area of random blocks, which I'm totally fine with. You stupid freaking bee. How did you get... Get back. Get back up. Okay, there's a magmatic. There's a crystalline. 
Here's a regular bee. Let's turn you into a salt bee. We go to the nether, we take the 30 bee cages with us. And we get some glowing bees. Boom. Glowing bee. Let's go. Okay, have we gotten anything new yet? Oh, we got some tin combs. Any blazing combs yet? Nope. Let's go find a swamp. Oh my gosh, guys. On day six, I finally found sheep for the first time. Holy crap. Let's go. I've been playing this for 20 hours and I found sheep for the first time. This is a scam swamp. It says swamp and then like two blocks further. Oh, wait, no, this also says swamp. Oh, hey, there's a slimy nest. Never mind, not a scam, not a scam. That's actually what I was looking for. Sweet. Let's freaking go, baby. Okay, now we just have to go back. Where's back again? Oh! Almost died. Because I have this ring on that makes uh, water just act as air. So I just fell straight through and took a bunch of fall damage. Slimy nest. Okay, so the slimy bee. I was gonna look up how much Imperium we have. We have a lot of seeds for it. Let's let's go down the rabbit hole. I Wait, what was I doing? I was gonna go to the mining dimension actually. Hey guys, congratulations on making it this far in the video. If you like it so far, make sure you subscribe. This video took months to edit and I would really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, refill your snacks, and stay hydrated as there's still much to come. In water, it's got power. So if I put Inferium seeds in here, how fast is it going? Do I need something below it? Oh, you can use like bone meal to make it go faster. Can I like give it upgrades too? Is there like speed upgrades? And we got some upgrades it seems. Okay, increases process speed. Ooh, okay, wait, so is this what we want? Okay, but this is going pretty quick now. That's definitely faster. So I wonder if I can use like an item pump. I can like output it out here and then output it back, input it back in. So then this can be configuration, output, input, like so. Yeah, that seems like, that seems like it'll work pretty well. So then it'll just output like this and input back in. So yeah, so this is gonna start producing Inferium maybe at a quicker rate. Okay, and yeah, now with the, this night vision, should be able to go into ancient city with a little bit more confidence. There is a warden there that probably hasn't despawned, so I'll have to keep that in mind. But oh, let's freaking do this. Okay, so now we go searching. It doesn't seem to hear the jetpack. Uh, I, I seem it seems pretty safe to just fly around. Ow. I don't want to look up an example real quick. Halfway up to the main structure in the city seems okay. That's good to know. I will Okay, so this actually is the main pathway that I'm standing on right now. I wonder if this one just won't have one. I guess it's gotta be somewhat rare. Okay. Let's go back over. Can't seem to find it. So, I have to look for another ancient city. Oh! While the upgrade template is not needed to make the initial tool, it will save you a lot on all the modium ingots. Okay, so you can actually make all the modium tools without templates, but it just costs way more. That. Okay, so that. I mean, that's something. Also, I didn't check to see what the salty bee uses. Why does it use, it uses water, man? I have to put this guy in like a different 
hive. I can't put the regular bees in water. Because they'll freaking die. Why don't you just use salt as a flowering block, man? I guess it makes sense. A little annoyed. Let's see, how much Inferium do I have? Do I actually have enough? Oh my gosh, I actually have just enough to make the diamond seeds if I want them. Oh, -ho! we make diamond seeds. Okay, and then what we can do after this goes through, we have 64 Inferium from that. 65 after this. Now we can do this. How fast or slow is that going to go? Oh my gosh, that's actually going at a pretty good rate. Okay. Okay, I actually have way more than I thought I did. So, master. Okay, it requires four Insanium, so we're not quite there yet. But we're actually not that far away. Like, we're a lot closer to a Master Infusion Crystal than I thought we were. Which is kind of like the main thing you want to get. Like, okay, so we need this. Yeah, okay, so we need a good amount more Inferium in order to get the Master Infusion Crystal. So now my next question is, can I take all these bones? Can I put bone meal? Does it actually work? It might be going faster. During the first part of my seventh stream, I decided to step away from the main quest line for a little bit in order to go into two mods that I've never really explored before, Botania and Pneumatic Craft. And I also end up getting a lot more Lapis as I end up needing a ton for Botania as well as enchanting my tools to get a lot better gear for the future. The next question is how much Lapis do we have? Because I kind of want to get like better enchantments on my gear, because that's another thing. Um, I don't think we have very much Lapis, guys. <laughs> Something tells me uh, our Lapis is a little low. Uh, I guess the other thing we can do instead of having Lapis is we could get into Ender IO real quick. And that, because I think, you know, I want to get into a new mod, but I think actually the best thing for me to do would be to, to get like better tools and armor. I think going into Ender IO just to get the Enchanter from there would probably be the best course of action because then we can just pick and choose whatever enchantments we want and that would be awesome. But I have 88 levels, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm absolutely not at a shortage of um, doing anything like that. We actually have everything to make this, so all we need to do is just make it and just attach it to power and we're good. My thought process for Ender IO enchanting was good, as it is one of the best ways to enchant gear in the mod pack. However, I did forget to note that it does also take Lapis, unlike what I thought while I was recording this. That doesn't even need power, that's crazy. Okay, whatever. And, uh, I mean, I kind of did this for no reason. Okay, so we can just take this. Wait, I thought that needed power. I guess it doesn't. We want to get Silk Touch. We need Book and Quill. Oh, it's just slime it. Oh, it's it is Lapis. Okay, so we need Lapis for that, too. Wait, was Silk Touch even what I was going for? I mean, I was mostly going for Fortune. For Fortune. Well, I guess if I go into Ars Nouveau, I can get Earth Essence. I think that that's a little bit harder, though. Oh, this also requires Lapis. Okay, so there's no way around it. I gotta find some Lapis. Okay, so it says... They're most commonly found at Y0. Okay. So I'm gonna go one lower than zero. Because, you know, that means that my head level is at zero. Okay, so we're gonna change the mode. Small tunnel. 
and you lap this, and you lap this. Not finding. I found some deep slate coal. That's pretty rare. All right, inventory filling up. Oh my gosh! Hey guys, I have 28 lapis in one of my backpacks. Okay. We should just make some lapis seeds. I think we probably have enough Inferium for it. I mean, this thing's like running automatically like all of the time, so. I can't believe that just happened. Actually, I can totally believe it. I do silly things like that all the time. Let's see how our diamond seeds are doing. How, how many How many we got now? Holy crap, this thing goes insane. It, got, it gave me two essence that time too. That thing goes crazy. Okay, cool. So now that we know that we have lapis, um, okay, so let's see how much Inferium we got. Yeah, no, we do not have nearly enough. Well, we'll just use these for now. So we wanted fortune, fortune three. How, how much, how much? It costs nine to get a guaranteed fortune three book. That seems pretty reasonable. And then I want unbreaking. Unbreaking three costs nine as well. It needs obsidian. Okay. Okay. And then we do boom, boom, boom. Make fortune. And then boom, boom, boom. Make unbreaking. I think we do unbreaking first. Uh, let's see. Botania. So, first things first. Let me make this thing. Uh, it requires Botania petals. Okay, let's go around to the collect all these flowers, why don't we? Green one. Okay. There's a bunch of different types. Sweet. XP for these. You need to eventually collect all these anyways. Okay, so then... You can make floral fertilizer by using any dye and bone meal. Well, you know what dye we have infinite of? Red. Because we got poppies for days. <laughs> Let's make a stack of those. That's fine. It'll it'll build up. Um, and then we just do that with bone meal. Boom. Okay, sweet. That's 16 floral fertilizer. Burning items create mana. Endo flame. Okay, so... Oh, well, we need to get some heckin' water. Well, guess what? My, um... Twilight Forest portal broke because I broke it by accident. And then... Okay, so let's get this thing down right smack dab in the middle. Fill this thing with water. Okay, so we need... Some stuff. Okay. Already got those. Need red. Where's our red? Yay, red. Cool. Okay, so we got some red. I think I can... So, wait. Does this make... Oh, it makes two petals. Okay, so put the petal in. So then, what am I doing wrong? This is the recipe. Round petal. Red. Light gray! It's not gray. It's light gray. Okay, I figured it out, guys. Let's dig it. So Pacific. Brown. And boom! Let's go, baby! Okay, sweet. We got an end of flame. Okay. We got that. Block of coal. Okay, so that will help us make power. Okay, sweet. Claim all these real quick. I was like, we'll just claim every word. Okay. Blue. Cyan. Boom, baby! It's four, and then boom. Okay, sweet. Pure daisy. Boom. I think what we can do is we want to get some logs and some stone. Okay, sweet. Okay, so mana. We need a mana pool. Craft with living rocks. I think we need to fill this with water too. Nope, we don't. So we want to make a spreader 
So then I think if I put this down, I can find these. Now that looks like it's working. And then do I just bind this to this? Okay, yeah, so now that is spreading mana. Okay, so that is directed to the mana pool. That is directed. Okay. So those are all connected to the mana spreader, and now the mana spreader is spreading that. Okay. Awesome. So then if I give this end of flame a block of coal, we're gonna start putting mana in the pool. Free the spreader. Yeah, let's go, baby. Okay, sweet. So, apparently I already created mana fused items. Oh yeah, because I got some, yeah, okay. Oh, I do want this. I need two brewing stands, two gold ingots, a mana pearl. Okay, so that's just an ender pearl with mana. Okay. Okay, so now we have the alchemy catalyst. Oh, I need a runic altar. Maybe I should just try making all of the, all of the, um, generating flowers and then the book might tell us what it does probably a good idea yay water runes okay so we need every type of rune to get a sterile ter <laughs> a terrestrial agglomeration plate we need every type of rune plus a block of mana steel plus three lapis blocks so oh, good luck with that um how many runes are there? Oh, there's way more. Okay, so which ones do I need? We need fire. That requires powder, mana steel, nether brick, gunpowder, and nether work. I will totally remember all of that. Aha! I'm actually good at this. Okay. I, I did remember all of it. Sweet. Okay, so we got fire. Okay, now earth. Earth time, baby. Full stone. Sweet. Okay, and then the last one is a rune of mana. I like the sound it makes. Okay, that one's almost done. Okay, next up is boom, 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 boom making that sweet all right we are going crazy fast getting good at this this is our first big crafting recipe oh we're gonna need way more mana steel though let's get some iron okay, don't quite have enough but what else did it need it needed oh my god the three blocks of lapis man i forgot about that crap <laughs> gosh dang it why is everything lapis man Okay, how much freaking Ethereum we got? Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, we can't do this crap right now. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's got enough mana now. Go ahead and point this here. Okay, so we got all the runes necessary. If that only makes one, <laughs> your toaster. Okay. Okay, so now we got mana steel make a mana steel block and now we gotta go find some lapis let's um let's make a freaking lapis um mana or uh or site potion ender powder no i need ender pearls ender pearls man I'm out of everything. I can't make freaking lapis or sight potions, man. <laughs> Wait, can I get ender pearls with anything? Oh! No, oh, I don't have generalized ender predictions. What am I talking about? Do I have a nebulous heart? I don't want to. I didn't want to have to use that. I have two. Okay. Okay, we got ender pearls. And then lapis. Then cook. Let him cook. I can't believe this is happening. 
<laughs> it all comes back to the beginning of the stream where I was talking about how I needed the stupid lapis. And now it's biting me in the butt because I didn't go and grab more. <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. Lapis sight. Let's go, baby. All right. We're going down the mines. <laughs> was like going in the cave and like, just like scoot around a little bit. You toaster! You thought you could just blow me up? I've got a jetpack. That's actually the. Oh! No more bragging. Okay, we have a lot. But it's never enough. It's never enough for Lapis. I need all of it. <laughs> Give me the Lapis. <laughs> Give me more. <laughs> I'm not going crazy, you're going crazy. Okay, okay, I think that might be enough. Don't, don't quote me on that. Okay, so we got some lapis, a couple ammo. They're all in this heckin' backpack. So now I can craft three lapis blocks to make this item, which I don't even know what it does yet, so. Boom, baby. Terra Steel Agglomeration Plate. Probably requires about a thousand mana to use. Terra Steel needs a lot of mana to craft. So confused. Okay, next up. So we'll come back to this later. So what we should do now is let's look at pneumatic craft. That's kind of interesting. I've never done this before. Okay, so. Got some pressure tubes done. Next up is we can do charging. No, we want to do reinforced stone. So how much compressed iron gets to be have? Not a ton. How do I even make these in the first place? So you have pressure chamber. Am I supposed to like make this first? The easiest way to do this is to make a hole in the ground, throw iron ingots, and then blow it up with TNT. Oh, okay, so that's how you make it first. Okay. Reinforced stone is just a bunch of stone and then a compressed iron ingot. So we need to smelt more stone. Okay, so next up is reinforced bricks needed for the pressure chambers. More that. Okay, so then next up is make air compressor. Make that. That's good. That's good. What's next? Preventing explosions. You mentioned everything could blow up. Luckily, there's an easy solution. Security upgrade. Okay. Place in a machine. Make sure they don't explode. Interesting. Cool. So I need lapis. <laughs> Good thing I got more of that. I should be able to make two of those. Sweet. Got that quest done. Next up is pressure chamber. So we need 95 of the walls. Sweet. Okay, crude oil. How do I get? Next stage of mob requires the collection of crude oil. Oil can be found naturally on the surface of the overworld. Awesome. And what I should do is I should put it in my backpack. Wait, bunch of oil. Dude, let's get some, let's get some more iron. Here we go. More of this special iron. Kaboom, babe! Oh shoot! <laughs> We do it <laughs> that's hilarious i i totally like biffed it because of my magnet that's funny okay so that pumps heat around awesome made thermal laggings refinery outputs refinery controllers boom okay all right, so I still haven't even done anything with the mod. I've just crafted a bunch of stuff for quest purposes, but I think just getting everything first and then going into everything afterwards is probably not even a bad idea. So I need to figure out how to make this. My brain hurts after doing all of that. Maybe I'll go into some more mechanisms. Like I got this all set up. I can just come back to it later. Maybe now's a good time to go exploring 
to get find trail ruins. So we want to find a warm ocean in order to take a night vision potion. I'm gonna take off that ring that makes me fall in the water. And we want to look for ruins. I don't know what they look like though. I'm gonna be completely honest. There's some sandstone. Oh yeah, that this is it. Okay, sweet. Now I just gotta get lucky. First try? No. Uh, piece of coal. Iron axe. I mean, at least I found some. Wooden hoe. What you got? A gold nugget. Okay. That is that ruin looted. Oh, is this the one I already did? No, it's it's a new one. Good, good, good. Oh man, I got three wheat in a row. Man, I'm so lucky. Oh, hello. One of these dudes. Oh, I got his. I got his trident first try. Nice. Okay, going back to base. Trail ruins have not been successful. After exploring the trail ruins for a while, I decide to take a break from that and craft a structure compass so I can actually find some more ancient cities in order to look for the smithing template directly instead of trying to find a sniffer and getting the sussy bee to convert the clay blocks to get it that way. Let's dig straight down. We are in the deep dark biome. And there's the ancient city right there. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, ancient city to electric boogaloo. Okay. Instant refill on jetpack fuel. Okay, put all this random stuff away. Let's get night vision potion. Oh, wait, they were brewing. Oh my gosh, I never heckin' put the redstone in it. All right, I can wait for that. All right, let's do this. Okay, no jump scares, please. This is not called all the jump scares nine. Okay, here we go. Find me some clay, please. I would like to find some. I found it. It's um, all the modium smithing template. Woohoo! We found it. Oh. I didn't know it did that. I started freaking brushing it and it fell to the floor and broke. Okay, there's another one. <laughs> we will not repeat our mistakes. Okay, there's a block underneath it. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, that would have been so stupid if I just <laughs> got what we were looking for. Let's see. Cool. So we got the smithing template. Beautiful. We do still need to find a sniffer egg for one of my quests. So that that is something that is actually required. We got a toast, baby. After the resource generation issues we had during my last stream, I decided it was a good idea to build a sky island as a dedicated area for my resource generation needs, as well as giving my wind generators additional power output as they increase in efficiency based on how high they are in the world. Sweet. Okay, that should be hopefully enough. It probably won't be, but it'll be close. Perfect. All right, so that's all four chunks covered. Uh, these are all the chunks that I have loaded. So that works out pretty well. And we still got spruce to spare. All right, awesome. Now, next step is just gonna be moving everything here. Oh, it's all dark over here now because I built a giant platform. Dude, I wanna upgrade my backpack. I think I should do that first. Okay, here we go. I can make a netherite backpack. A gold backpack, like so, like so. 
netherite backpack. So this is the biggest backpack I can make. So now, without further ado, I'm gonna smash every single one of these machines. Oh, dodge it! I'm gonna destroy every single one of these machines. Okay, so I'll do one here. We'll leave like one space on the edge in case I want to make like walls of some sort. But for now, we're just gonna set all these up like this. And they are producing 76 FE per tick. <laughs> yeah, that is way better. As I begin setting things up in my new sky base, I realize there's an issue with my current storage setup below. As the sky base is blocking the wind generator, I have powering the storage unit. So I came up with an interesting temporary solution as I work on obtaining wireless power. You know what I can do, just temporarily. Let's just, let's just, um, <laughs> this, is gonna, this is gonna be kind of silly, but bear with me here. We're gonna take one of these windmills that has, it's full on power, and we're gonna replace it <laughs> with the one there so I can temporarily give my storage system power. Let's see, let's see what we can do. So we need a point. We need these cores, we need eyes of ender, um, but we don't really have, how many ender pearls do we have? Yeah, yikes, that's, uh, yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, so we have more nebulous hearts. That's enough to make four cores. What do we need for the plug? We also need four cores, okay. Yeah, the other way is I can go kill some more Endermen and set up the loot fabricator. Let's do that, actually. Indestructible. Nice. Fire Aspect and Sharpness 3. Ooh. Oh, Fire Aspect, we don't actually want that when we're trying to kill Endermen. Hmm. Well, maybe I can one-shot them because this does 18 hearts of damage, so... We get some quest rewards for that, too. Made all the modium tools. What the heck is that? What do you do? Select the location. What? What? Okay, that's cool. It's a freaking like dimension portal. Yo, that's sick. That's the best quest reward I've gotten so far. Go to the nether fortress. This thing opens up all my waystones, and I can just click and click teleport, and then I'll just go whatever waystone I want. After nerding out about my new quest reward, I go to the Withered Abyss in the Nether, where the only two mobs that spawn are Wither Skeletons and Endermen. This way, I can get all the Ender Pearls necessary to create wireless power, as well as help set up my hostile neural network system better. Okay, let's get that out of here. Then we'll go to this, make as many of these as we can. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we can make that. Um, now we need to go back down to bedrock. Just like this. Drop that there. Left click that, give me all the flux stuff. Make a flux block that make the flux plug. Now we have the flux point and flux plug. So this receives energy, so we wanna put that here. Uh, point. Boom. Create. Oh, and then I need to go back to base. This receiving, it is not. Okay, so then I need to connect to my network. Okay, cool. I don't entirely know how that mod works, but all I know is now this is completely safe. Okay, I can make three wither skulls. Now what that means, I can spawn the wither. I can take my deep learner. That's my ender myrtle. Okay, so it's just, a basic one, but that's fine. Not a huge deal. Uh, I think we want to put... Okay, we put it in the simulation chamber. Okay, we've gotten three Enderman predictions, which is great. We got that quest reward. 
Um, I don't want end crystals. I think I just want ender pearls for now. 16 ender pearls per ender prediction. That is insane. After using the loot fabricator to get a ton of ender pearls, I ponder what I should do next for a while before deciding that it would be a good idea to fight some withers, as well as build up a prediction model for the hostile neural network's quest line. But during the first fight, I make a crucial mistake. Did it kill anything? No, no, it's just angry at the wither. Okay, you're quick. I forgot to do the model. Oh, there's the star. Okay. Wither kill. Buttered toast. That's even more powerful than regular toast. Holy crap. Can I turn these into wither skulls? With withered ribs? The other thing we could have done is um, started some predictions on the wither skeletons. I think I'm going to fight one more wither at least. And then I'm going to try and get the framework on it. We have the stuff to make more of these, so let's let's actually right click that real quick. Wait, what? Am I near the Netherite monstrosities area? Where is it? It says I found it. I'm just blind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Do I want to fight this guy right now? That's the real question. He does want to fight me. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this yet, but he does have 50. Okay, we're not doing this right now. Let's. <laughs> 40 of those should be enough for now. Okay. Let's find another wither. This time we should probably get a mob, like, in a hole. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that should kill it. Oh, dang it, it died. Here, I'll just make one of you angry. Hey, Wither Roses? Wait, where are they? Oh, it's, 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 it's here. I see it. Go to hover mode real quick. Oh, it's all gone now. <laughs> this is not as easy as I thought it would be. Okay, wait, first things first. Give me your model. Woohoo, more nether stars. Woo! There might be one around here. But I'm pretty sure it was attached to my body and then uh, a wither, the wither freaking shot a skull at me and it probably blew them all up. Yeah, no. No withered rose. Oh, I got one. Never mind. I got one. Okay, we're good. Okay, nether stars. I want to start generating nether stars. I make nether star seeds. Any insanium, right? Yeah. It's only four insanium. That's not that insane. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I don't have nearly enough inferium for this, though, so. That's why we need to get all this set up. I think I should do that before I go fight the dragon. Okay, running out of glass panes. What a pain. Okay, those are going to start growing Inferium. They're all chunk loaded, so I'll just keep doing it while I am away. 20 eyes of Ender, that's plenty. 4,000 blocks away in that direction. Alright, let's, let, let's dig straight down. There's the stronghold. Okay. Now, there's a better Strongholds mod in this pack, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's set a little waypoint here real quick. 
I do not like looking through strongholds. Not one of my favorite things. No, that is the that's the portal room. That's not That's not a cataclysm boss. I see a dig this way or go this way. I'm so silly. So wait, how would I even get here? Where does this go? Whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, I found it. Got two eyes in it. Okay. All right. I think we have everything we need. Let's get in there and do some damage. Cool. Get that guy out of here. Yo, this place looks sick. Oh, he's spawning. That's cool. Dude, I've never seen this before. Is the fight gonna be like overhauled? shoot the crystals right now the ender dragon fight was in fact not overhauled and the only other notable thing about this fight is the fact that i forgot to get the dragon's prediction model recorded so let's just skip this part it's dead loud noises Whoa! Oh my gosh, did this this didn't collect the kill. Dang it! Oh, I messed that up. I forgot to put that in the deep learner. Oh, I didn't check how much Inferium I got. 530 there. How many stacks is that? Let me just put like everything away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stacks. That's about half of what I need. Yeah, 300 from here. There's 26 in here. There's two more seeds. So that's all the seed I need. Sweet. Okay, so we're getting there. Do I have enough netherite for netherite seeds? I do not have enough. Do I have any ancient debris left? No, okay. I don't have any potion left either, I don't think. Just using a nether netherite site potion so I can easily collect enough netherite to make seeds and stuff. All right, so now we triple how much netherite we have. Doesn't that sound great? I still have so much automation to do. Let's go, baby. Now this pickaxe is indestructible. I have just enough to make the master infusion crystal. Okay, well, I'm not gonna be able to make the netherite seeds yet, but now I have the master infusion crystal. Let's freaking go, baby. Woo. All right, that's, that is awesome. I think, I think this is gonna be our best choice. Let's go find a sniffer egg. Yeah, it's way down there. I think I've respiration helmet for this. Okay. That should make this a little bit easier. Axe. I don't know what that is. Sherd. Another sherd. Oh, it's that's it, that's it, that's it. Let's freaking go. We got a sniffer egg. Okay. Let's just go home and get this guy grown up. Okay. So it'll hatch eventually into a full blown sniffer. Okay, so sniffer egg is growing. Oh yeah, and then uh, making uh, furnace augment. Actually, I probably have an augment in my inventory somewhere. Does that not count? <laughs> of course, the one augment I got is not like doesn't count how easy are these to make boom did it hooray okay cool i got that done i'm really scared about killing the warden i'll be completely honest but i'm gonna have to get over my fear eventually 
close are we to making netherite seeds? Because I think the best thing for us to do is going to be making full all the modium armor. And that might protect us from the warden. Do I have to get the warden as a hostile neural network thing too? Probably. Yep, I have to, I have to get a warden prediction. Oh my gosh. Let's make two more teleport pads. Okay. All right. What is here? Light is disabled here. Interesting. The other is home to several dungeons filled to the brim with loot and spawners. You can find the boss of the, all the mods pack, the pig glitch. All right, here we are. Lights disabled. Oh my gosh. This is terrifying. Stop being able to fly. I might want to like go into like a magic mod or something. It only spawns with air exposure. They said it spawns in like the ceilings. It said at like a certain level though. Now it, it can't be found here. It's only between zero and 40. Okay. Well, let's go back. It's a very interesting biome. I think what might be best for me in that biome is if I had like a, a blink scroll with um, iron spells and spell books. All right, let's try and go into the beyond. I just want to see what it what it's like. OK, it seems the beyond is just giant sky island. Interesting. Good to know. Now we've been to all of those dimensions. Oh, the ancient berries grant night vision too. That's cool. Let's go there a little more and see see what happens. Okay. So don't go down. How long does this last? Some time. It's like a minute. We got 16 minutes of night vision combined. Oh yeah, there's deep slate down here. Scary looking lava, soul lava. Oh, it doesn't kill you. Cool. No vibranium for me. This is terrifying. I'm not a fan. There's some. Okay, can't vein mine it. Had to test it. Let's go, got a piece of vibranium. Great little waypoint here. Uh, the other. Wait, okay, so we got one. That's good. That completes that quest. So we got that. We got another piece of vibranium ore. It requires so much salt, though. Holy. Six vibranium. Yeah, I need the smithing template for it. Okay. Let's check on our little sniffer buddy. How have you grown so far? You are still youngin', I think. Yes, you have a thousand seconds left to grow. And actually what I wanted to test out is I wanted to see if I could get like other mobs to teleport through uh, the tempad portal here. Cause I, I actually have no idea. Um, so let me, let me go try that out real quick. Let me find a victim. Um, see if I can get something in there. So, okay, so we got a zombie hanging out right there. Let's just get him to come after me real quick. And what I want to try to do is I want to get the sky base portal right here. And let's see if he can. OK, well, it's got to be good timing. Come right through this. It works. Oh, my gosh. OK, I have a much better idea. We're doing this. We're so doing this, dude. OK, my plan is to drop the warden onto Dripstone. Now that I know I can teleport the warden, this is get this is just got a whole a whole lot more interesting. Cause I want to get him to like half a heart of HP, and I just want to drop down and freaking kill him with one shot. So here begins a challenge, and my goal to complete every quest in the starter page. I have to kill the warden, 
and to avoid the coward's way of shooting it to death with arrows and the fool's way of trying to melee it to death, I decide to go with the most complicated route of dropping it and leaving it at 1 HP. That last piece is important because if I drop the warden and it dies, then I don't get the quest reward because I wasn't the one who killed it. So I had to calculate the amount of damage I would deal to the warden based on how far I dropped it. And this turned out to cause a lot of issues. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here, but I think this will be way more fun than just bowing the heckin' uh, dude to death. All right, this is where we could die. Let's freaking do this. Okay, so we gotta find a shrieker. Oh, there is, there's a warden already. What if I just like go on top of him? He's up there. Kind of just want to fly up next to him and then just activate the portal. Like, I think I get two shot, maybe three shot. Uh, okay. This is not as easy as I thought it would be. Woo, okay, okay. That is terrifying. I'm gonna wait for him to calm down a little bit and then I'm gonna try again. I did it, I did it. Hopefully he didn't die. He's still alive? Uh oh, shoot. He, he did not fall down where I hoped he would. He's gonna kill some other stuff. Okay, see how much HP he has? He's still got 246 HP. Okay. Can I, like, get him to fall again? I'm just gonna shoot him. He's like uber mad at me now. Just gotta be really careful because if I just instantly die to this guy, I'm gonna be mad. He shouldn't have like been able to get out. I'm just so confused at how that happened in the first place. Here, let's let's just make like a new one where I drop him from this high because he was still at like a hundred something hearts. Now I gotta see what his HP's at now. <laughs> okay, I gotta get out of heartbeat range. Until he ignores me again. Or I can just drop him again. How high was the warden drop again? I don't think that should kill him. No! Dang it! Oh, I accidentally killed him. Okay, I do actually have to take this into a separate world. I didn't want to have to do it, but yeah, it's, it seems like that's what I'm gonna have to do to figure it out. Gosh, dang it. You're right. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's two by one. Oh, that's annoying. Wait, I don't have to do the dripstone method. I don't think my teleporter needs to be in like the bounding box of the world. I guess I can test that. So then in that case, I just need to be um, 500, 500 blocks in the air above the ground. And that should be enough damage to set him to one. Okay, so we're at Y72. Let's go to Y572. Go up to like 590. 
Okay, it does actually bring me that high. Okay, okay, that's too high though. Okay, that should be good. Where will you spawn? Right here. Oh, that's actually perfect. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I got him, I got him. Oh, come on, please be low. But not dead. Oh, he's mad. What's your HP? Oh, he's mad. I just want to see your HP, bro. I want to, I have to make sure. Calm down, calm down. Calm down for two seconds. I'm only trying to kill you. He's dead. I did it. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right. Cool. Quest complete. That is a big one. Or at least it was one I was scared about. Ooh, mining gadget. That's fun. Anyway, so, okay. So now I have this quest. To the old mod star, so I can just you know I've I've unlocked um, all of these quests now, which now the game is freezing. Trying to think about it, I don't even start with this bounty board. We killed the warden. All the modium ingot, nice. Or dose, woo! -hoo. Now the only things I've left to do is get unobtainium, which by the way I should check on this little guy who's now a big guy. You've kind of outgrown your cage now, little buddy. Mr. Sniffer. Well, okay, let's let's see if I can make the mob yoinker real quick, and I'll put him in with the bees. <laughs> okay. I also haven't checked on the bees in a while. Let's see how they're doing. Holy crap! Red sniffer. Good to be here with these guys. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, this is not on my to-do list for today. There's like a feeding slab. Yeah. The feeding slab. I can put a magma block inside of it. And then the bees can actually use that as they're feeding blocks. So I'll put this right here. Put a magma block inside of it. Kablammo! So now that blazing bee will finally have a place where he can you know, do his thing. I also eventually need to get a warden prediction. So that, that will be something I do in the future. So the vibranium smithing template can be found in the nether inside of bastions. Suspicious Soul Sand. Okay. So we're gonna go to the Bastion. We gotta find Suspicious Soul Sand. Oh, hey, there's not a piece of vibranium. Multiple, actually. I got three from that. Holy crap. Fortune on this pick's paying off. Two from that one. Okay, let's look for a new Bastion. I have a structure compass on me, so it shouldn't be that hard. There you are. There's some suspicious old sand. Don't interfere. Let's go. I have an idea. Let's leave. So now we can upgrade our pickaxe. Because I duplicate this. It needs ancient stone, seven all the modium ingots. Okay. Okay. We have a vibranium pickaxe. Which is awesome. Oh my gosh. I got a nether star. I got two nether stars. I can make nether star seeds. Charm of what? Nether. I just have permanent netherite sight if I wear that. That's insane. Um, okay, well, let's go to the end. Let's go get some unobtainium. While we're doing this, I guess we should probably get... 
elytra maybe because they're used for some crafting recipes midlands highlands this is the good stuff where we look for unobtainium while i don't end up finding unobtainium during this end expedition i do end up getting a few pieces of powerful legendary affixed armor which will prove useful later i'm just gonna get some op gear just randomly from killing these guys apparently so just have elytra flight along with my jet pack I'm not gonna lie it's actually kind of annoying and well maybe we do just try to get the smithing template first okay, let's go through this 2,000 blocks away I have to make it there with no flight let's do this 2,000 blocks away oh wait no I need to look for the dungeon that's even closer. The only way I can die is I fall. Kind of what scares me about doing this. I'm just trying to scout out any blazes so I don't get knocked off. Because that's like the only thing that really scares me about this dimension. Because the mob spawn rate is honestly pretty low. Yeah, that's what I was talking about though. I don't want to fight the piglets yet. I want to wait for that. I have like um, neural networks set up so below me or above me. I'm like really confused because like the compass literally says the dungeons like here because it just seems like it's not even here. Oh, no, it's definitely there. It's this way. Okay, I did not know what to expect, to be honest. Well, I found it. So many mobs in here, though. Is this like the boss room? Here. Okay, so this is the big dungeon. Okay, let's just set... It's the other's dungeon. Okay, so this is where, so I need to find the library in here, and that gives me the unobtainium missing templates. Oh. Okay. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, I might not be ready for this right now. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, the main thing was that the mobs in there were kind of insane. I also have a totem of undying. That's somewhat helpful. I'll just keep that in my offhand for now because I'm not really using a shield. I think the main thing we want to do, though, is we're going to we want to get all of our armor upgraded to netherite at least. And then probably all the modium after that. We got these little guys. Um, I got this book when I popped into that dungeon for a bit. So that is why I have that. It's probably just better for me to go into Applied Energistics first, and then I can finish up Refined Storage afterwards. First, let's check over here. I want to see if um, Mr. Sniffer has dug anything else up. Dug up a pitcher pod. Oh, wait, is there a slot for the totem? Of dying? Oh, interesting. Cool. I'm not doing much with the bees right now. Um, just because, uh, the seeds are a little bit more efficient until we can get, um, bees set up a little bit more heavily. Before doing anything else, I had to optimize my backpack much better. So I created some stack size upgrades, pickup upgrades, and filter upgrades so that our inventory would be much cleaner going forward. Um, we're gonna go underground and I'm just gonna mine a crap ton of deep slate. I want to build my base out of um, my big base out of deep slate. So that's what I'm going to go do real quick. So now what this um, what this upgrades I did for the backpack is is going to just automatically collect deep slate for me so I can just get a crap ton of it. I find a nice little flat area. Set up a big base. I like this area a lot. So that's not too far from that second ancient city. 
This is the fur clearing. All right. Big base. That's right, guys. You heard it here first. I'm making a third base this series. Maybe I'll build a roof on this one, though. Make it a nice big area to put everything. Get like a big storage system set up. All that good stuff. Dude, you need so much. Is there like a better way to get this? Like, goodness. Digital miner. Yeah, that. okay, that's what I'm looking for. Nice, I can make it for things. Sweet. Digital miner. Okay. That That's a pretty big craft too. So I'm glad that I did that because those like, those take a bit. And then, okay, so then what do I need to do? Not enough energy to operate. Okay, well, okay, it's not getting any power. It's so slow. Can you load this up with a billion speed upgrades? Let's see how much faster that makes it and how much power it takes up. Yeah, it's, it's running low on energy now. So, any energy upgrades? I'm gonna do this properly. It's raining. Upgrades, speed. Okay. Energy. Start. How you doing? Okay, that is mining way faster. Okay, yeah, it's running out of energy. So I need more energy upgrades. So what's happening, I think, is it's pulling all the energy from reserves in these, and then, yeah, it's running out. Okay. So, well, I can make way more upgrades, so we're fine. Energy. It's still running out. We require more power. Well, we have another wind generator. We could probably make more wind generators. I don't think it'd be that hard. Yeah, I'm just gonna set up a giant freaking array of these things. More than I even had before. Okay, now we've got another one. Okay, they're still completely bottlenecked. Fine. This needs energy upgrades. This needs speed upgrades. This only has Oh, this has, like, nothing. No speed or energy. What does this have? Yeah, I need to, like, freaking mass produce this stuff. This is why we need a freaking defined base. Because I think I should be at the point where I have, like, auto crafting and stuff set up. I just don't yet. Okay. And now... Okay, everything's still losing power. Fine. Okay, we can make more, more power, more power. Boom, boom. Okay, it's still running out. As I make more and more wind generators and upgrades to my power setup, I begin to realize how big of a jump the digital miner is from my other machines in terms of power consumption. I would need a big change in my power setup to get this machine working properly, so I end up taking a break from this project and moving on to other things for now. Dude, yeah, that reminds me how much holy freaking crap. Nice. Okay, we're killing it with this essence stuff. So many stacks of Inferium. Goodness gracious. We can make some really good seeds with those. I want to just turn all that into Insanium and like see what happens, you know? Okay. Inferium, 4,000, got 4,000, okay. Oh, what the freaking heck? <laughs> That's crazy. I used the wrong crystal too. Oh my gosh. It's so funny how like quickly it all goes away too. That's, that is seven Insanium though. That is a little crazy. And then with that, make some netherite seeds. Get that done. Okay, so we got those. Set up a freaking warp. So I don't have to keep on like opening up the portal and stuff like that.
Okay. Loud noises. Because we got that. Go back. Now I can go back and forth without having to open a freaking thing. Okay, I got three more. Uh, now I'm missing Lumium. Okay, so six of these is honestly fine. Uh, what kind of seeds we got? Okay, so we get the diamond ones, we get the netherite ones. Those are the most important. While we're talking about seeds, let's see if our sniffer boys dug up anything else. Pod. Porch flower. Okay, no, no suspicious bee spawn egg yet. You're a little lost, but you got the spirit. Okay. Nice. What is like the best? We could do an advanced solar generator. If you're wondering if it's worth making, the answer is yes. Version produces a hundred. All right, we're gonna try and start applied energistics, whether we like it or not. Okay, subscriber charger. We'll take a bunch of these chargers. Get up to power. Okay, these charge way faster than I remember them. Probably because we have so much power, honestly. Okay, Fluix Crystals. Anyone who has played big mod packs before knows that starting applied energistics is a pain for a lot of reasons. One of the big reasons is resource generation. So I decide to curb that pain right away by making seeds for Certus Quartz, Nether Quartz, and Flukes Crystals. And now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. Because I believe these are two still tier two. I mean, if they got changed, I just have no idea. So Okay. Sweet. seeds here, Lubix seeds here, Nether Quartz, Silicone, Certus Quartz. Sweet! Okay, so now, yeah, those are now automatically producing everything that we need for Applied Energistics. Um, I would also like to start getting Netherite and Diamond seeds going. Okay, sweet. We are producing! This seems to go twice as fast, I think, because of the upgrade. Let's take this out and put it in Netherite 1. I think that's what we need the most of. Yeah, we want to make way more of these upgrades then. That is very powerful. Because it, it seems like it's doubling the speed. Oh, we have a silicone seed going. Forgot about that. Yeah, we've had this going for a while. Okay. We're doing pretty well. Um, I guess now what we have to do is we have to make... We have to get more slime somehow. Oh my gosh, we have those slimy bees that have been going forever. <gasps> we got a sussy bee spawn egg. Oh my gosh, let's go. Look at those slimy cones. Okay, but yeah, so now we have a sussy bee, so we can convert. Wait, I wonder if this changes what I'm gonna be doing, because I can make a ton of all the modium smithing template upgrades now. Okay, centrifuge. A huge centrifuge, in fact. Yeah, like speed upgrades. There. Speed. Okay. I <laughs> have a ton of clocks. Okay, we're getting out of slime balls. That's important. Okay, well, I can make one speed upgrade. I don't want to waste any more gold on that, though, because that's expensive as heck. This is not producing very much slime. Get good, man. What's the percentage chance? 20? Bruh. Freaking scrubs. Yeah. I don't have to sit around and wait anyways. I can just let it do its thing. So if I'm remembering correctly, you need like what? Four or five inscribers? Because these things are the things that make the... Yeah, okay. So I think it is four at the start. So I need four of these inscribers, I think. 
I'll just set these up back here for now. Okay, so those are getting power. It says device offline, but I think that just means it's just, you know, it just hasn't done anything yet. Um, let's see. Do we have any of the big craters nearby here? In the middle of this thing will be... Okay, also we need a crap ton of sky stones, so we should probably mine that too. Any flawless? Nice, there is one flawless. That's good. That gives me all of those. Awesome sauce. And then we, what we do is we're going to set up one of these with each. Uh, let's do it in order. Do silicone first, and then I think it's... it's yeah, logic, and then calculation, and then... We're gonna need gold to go a little faster, I think. What I'm figuring out. So yeah, so we need... Oh, we need to make a meteorite compass. Okay. Okay, so then, big base. And what we're doing right now is we're just gonna make a metric crap ton of all of these. No, it's not iron, it's freaking Certus Quartz, isn't it? I think I always get that wrong, too. How much How much do we have? How much is that? What does that equate to? 12? Yes, yeah, so now this is making a ton of these presses of everything. Sweet! Yeah, so that... This is going to be very helpful because we're always going to need a ton of these, kind of like we need the um, alloys in Mechanism. This is like the same thing, but for Applied Energistics. So we we're going to make a bunch of all the modium stuff as well, um, a bunch of all the modium gear so that we could. One second, brain, brain is working, brain is working so that we can maybe take on that big dungeon in the other dimension. Okay, so this is our really insane chest plate, but unfortunately it has this stupid elytra flight. And I'm not exactly a big fan of it. It's interesting how that works. So maybe, maybe I do like it. It also gives me reach, which is really cool. Like I can, combine this block really far away and it obviously you know it has a bunch of stuff on it too so i wonder if i should just make this chest plate my like extra insane chest plate so like do i have like a do i have any smithing template so i've got this netherite one so i gotta upgrade that with diamond at this point i start preparing for our biggest challenge yet conquering the other's dungeon while this isn't inherently difficult, it does prove to be quite annoying due to the immense amount of mobs and spawners. So I set out to upgrade all my tools and armor, and I end up getting a surprise upgrade as well, which arguably ends up being my biggest upgrade yet. Yo. Okay, so now Vibranium Armor is a new quest I just got. Vampiric Glove, what do you do? Causes the wearer's melee attacks to absorb health. Oh, okay. Vibranium sword. Twen 24 hearts of damage. 6.8 attack speed. That is incredible. Beautiful. All right. Now this is up to all the Modium boots as well. Okay, and now we've got these Vampiric Gloves, which... Is gonna give me life steal damage supposedly, which is awesome. Okay, cool. So that that honestly should be good enough to go to the other and start wreaking some havoc, I think. And there's no flight in here anyways. And that guy just got one shot. Okay. Die. Break these spawners as fast as possible, and we're trying to find the library. 
Okay, I don't think I'm taking very much damage, but it's hard to tell with the wither effect sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not taking, like, any damage. Okay, those guys are dealing, like, a decent amount of damage. They keep spawning. I don't know where from. Let's just keep going up. Oh, shoot. Okay, I life stealed like a billion HP though. Dude, I need to like run away to get these guys to despawn. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Let's just like run super far away, get all these bozos. Dude, there's just so many of them. So many totems of undying, holy crap. These guys are like, are these guys giving me bad omen when they hit me? That's hilarious if they are. Dude, this is ridiculous. My armor is like almost like fully broken already because these guys are just hitting me so much. Guys, hold the freaking backpack. Well, that was annoying. Let's go um, see what we can do. Okay, let, let's just go in there as fast as we can before the spawner is like activate a trillion times in one second. They always, already spawned like 50 vexes. Dude! Dude, let's just kite it out. They broke two of my armor pieces. The two pieces that were breakable. Dude, these things are so stupid. While the dungeon was frustrating and the gameplay felt a little stale in the beginning, I noticed a few things I could do to make things easier for myself as time went on. It started to have the feel of a roguelike game where you would go in, get pretty far, and then come back again with better loot so I could get even deeper into the dungeon. This was especially relevant because every time I came back to the dungeon, I was able to break more spawners, effectively giving me more space and more breathing room as I claimed more and more of the dungeon as my own. I get extra speed on my boots. And now I'm insanely fast. Okay, sweet. Should have done that a long time ago. Vex can't see you with this. So if I get six of these, I won't be able to be hit by Vexes at all. How many do I have? I think I have one. Well, I think the best thing to do now is just to go try again in the dungeon. I, I think every time I go there, it's going to get a little easier. Stop sending Vexes at me. Okay, broke a spawner. Broke another spawner. Every spawner I break gonna make this a little easier. Also, I have enough XP for the thorns now. Okay. Go back to storage. Make thorns now. Okay, perfect. The Vex will die by their own hands. Okay, we got multiple guys that got music discs playing. I think I killed one. Yep. It's amazing how my computer's keeping up with all this. I just break the spawners. Like, honestly, the most important thing is just getting these spawners broken, because they're spawning so many of these guys. I don't even know if the thorns are doing anything, but it feels like they are. So I'm just going to say they are. Break all the spawners. Break all the spawners. Die. Death to spawners. Okay, these are the stupid spawners. Because I think they spawn like three every single time. Oh, we got pig step playing. It's getting serious. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, now we got another music disc playing. Let me break the spawner, man. Holy. OK, 
Okay, I killed the pig step guy, unfortunately. Was this a mistake? Maybe. No, I'm life stealing through all this damage. Holy crap, it's infinite mobs! Broke a piece of armor. Okay, okay, I actually need him. Dude, it just spawns infinite. I have so many axes in my inventory. This is insane. I do think the whole thorns is helping a lot because just the amount of mobs that are just swarming me is insane. Moon, you're okay to stand there as long as you don't, like, you know, step on my keyboard and stop my stream or something. I bet Sweeping Edge would probably also do really well. I also just realized I do have two totems of a dying, so. Well, there's my leggings. Okay. Go back to storage. Okay, do we get any more Vex Charm Fragments? There's, oh my gosh, wait. How many Vindicator Charm Fragments do we have? That's seven. Wait, how many do we need? Dude, we only need six. Dude, we can... Uh, we, can <laughs> we can make it so we're immune to Vindicators. Wait, do I have to wear it? Do I have to make one of these belts? I mean, I can. I can make one of them. Okay. Well, let's do that. I just have to put that on my belt slot. Okay. Think about this in my belt. Okay. Physical damage taken is reduced by 17.5%. Yeah, we'll do that. This is just the best way of enchanting. Oh, that's impaling. Okay. That's too much. Okay, now I have Sweeping Edge 3 on my Vibranium Sword. Okay, so we got all these Ancient Soul Berries now. Uh, Vindicators should no longer attack us. Vokers, obviously, they're a different story. But now that I have Sweeping Edge, maybe I'll kill these guys a little easier. Or just ev everything in this dungeon. Hey, yeah, I killed like three with one blow. Yeah, they're, they're not attacking me. Oh my gosh. Big upgrade. That is incredible. Yeah, that's going to make this a lot easier because honestly, those guys are the ones dealing the most damage to me. We got to locate the library somehow. We could also just look in these regular chests. Holy crap, how many diamonds is that? I should be looking at these chests more often. Netherite boots. I don't actually really care about that. Festin, festive diamond sword of the storm. That is cool. All right. I can't take all this stuff. I see to find the library. I'll, I can come back to grab all these chests later. Steel touch netherite helmet of the spell warden. I want to get up. up noobs okay destroy a spawner destroy this spawner how many am i killing one hit like three each uh oh okay we're good This is just insane. Okay. That 
that was something. Okay, I have enough Vex Charm Fragments now. <laughs> This is just the most insane thing I've ever done. Okay, so now let's grab a belt. Oh no. It has durability. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shoot. Nice. Okay, that's a big upgrade. Now that won't die either. What just broke? Oh no. Oh no. I know what just broke. The Vindicators are gonna start attacking me. That's not good. Okay, yeah, so yeah, these guys are just gonna start attacking me again. That's that's unfortunate. Die 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 die. Wherever there's no spawners is where I know I've been. So I just wanna find and break every single spawner in here. Yeah, I hope I actually end up finding what I'm looking for, but I mean even if I don't I've made a lot of progress just, you know, killing all these guys. Oh, there's lava up there. Skeletons? Oh, this is an... <gasps> this is a library! This is the library. Alright. Okay, I found what I was looking for. Okay, let's find the smithing template. Find the smithing template. Smithing template. Smithing template. No, no. There it is! Let's go! We got it! We don't have to be here anymore! Goodbye! <laughs> we got it! Oh, let's freaking go! Yo, thanks for all the subs. I'm at 650 now. Let's go. Let's get let's get the 1k soon, man. Let's do this. All right, we got the freaking smithing template. Let's go. Dude, I'm so glad I don't have to be in there anymore. That was a nightmare. Now we only have like two quests to do in here. So we got the smithing template. We got a rare ward, some gem dust, and whatever. Or gem dust. Eventually I'll get into like really getting those affix items um, set out and stuff. There like a quest in Aldamodium too? Okay, so I got this Unobtainium. Okay, so now all I have left to do is get the actual Unobtainium, which shouldn't be that hard, especially since my pickaxe is unbreakable now. Uh, how much more Aldamodium uh, do I have? I, I, just, I have exactly seven. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna... I guess I can upgrade this stuff to Aldamodium. So do I have enough Netherite for that? Probably not, no. Dude, what am I gonna do with all these totems? Okay, so this is what we'll do with our all our totems. We're gonna take every single totem that we have in here and dump it in this thing. It doesn't fit anymore. Dang it, okay, well, let's get another drawer. <laughs> let's go upstairs real quick. Charge our jetpack. I guess it's not nighttime, okay. And then let's go to the end, the far end. Okay, hopefully I didn't accidentally make some dudes mad. Okay, come around here. I did make some guys mad. Oh, it's just these guys. They're fine. They'll get over it. There it is, woo, we found it. Let's go, that was easy. <laughs> After I... Alright, sweet. Now I can do everything else in the quest book. I'm gonna, like, find, like, another piece, like, instantly afterwards, by the way. Fun fact. Aw, oh, no, never mind. Okay. Eat my words. Yeah, it, it doesn't actually seem that hard to find. I was just doing the wrong stuff, honestly. Okay, cool. There's on an Obtainium. Let's freaking go. Alright. So, without further ado, let's go back to storage. Unobtain you more. Done. Night vision go- Yo, I would have loved those like 50 episodes ago. Um, I need night vision goggles. Can I wait? Where can I wear these? Angler's hat? Yeah. All right, now I have night, night vision permanently. Let's freaking go. Okay. Boom, there's that quest done. Unobtain you more. Get this unobtain you more quest done. Awesome. Let's freaking go. 
this one, get this one done. Flux point. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Last thing left to do in the beginning. Actually, there's two. First off, novice spellbook. That should be really easy. We need an iron pick. Iron shovel. Novice spellbook. Done. Quest complete. Glyph of summon steed. Yeah. Let's eat it. Okay. Ars Nouveau. This is done. Quest complete. Novice spellbook. Quest complete. Archwood logs. Quest complete. I got an Endearium ingot. Okay. Last thing on this list is a power storage unit. Let's get the mechanism one. Boom, we got that. Two of these energy tablets. Okay, that's it. Chapter one is completed. The beginning is done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. We did it. I don't know what I just put in my chest. Holy crap. Let's freaking go. Let's let's look through these real quick. So we get got the power storage done. Got that finished. This, the beginning, is now completely done from humble beginnings of welcome to the getting started chapter, getting all this storage stuff, getting all of the resource production, getting a sniffer egg, every single smithing template. Killing all three, but like vanilla boss mobs, going to every all the mods dimension, and now we're on to the all the mods star. That is our next big quest. All right, that is awesome.